Hi there, beer fans. I'm looking forward to this. Last year, I had the Imperial Gingerbread, which came in at stonking 16%. It was absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping this one is a good one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tony's Beer Viewers. Yes, this is from Vault City on last year. Uh, they brought out a gingerbread. I, th I think it was DDF. Um, uh, double deep fried uh, gingerbread. Uh, Imperial gingerbread stout, something like that. Imperial stout, um, which came in at um, sixteen percent. This is eleven percent ABV. It's their gingerbread latte. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. Let's get out of the can. Let's try. Let's try it. It's only till I started to sit down with this, I realised that it's it's not a sour. I don't even think I realised that yesterday when I did the, uh, last year when I did the review of the uh, the Imperial one last year. Yeah, it's not a. It's. We, I only tend to. We only tend to know that was doing um, sours, but like I said, the um, the uh, gingerbread one last year was stunning. So I'm kind of hoping this one is going to be. Oh wow, the aromas are amazing. That has poured jet black. There's a jet black pour with a dark. Tan head, that tan head, yeah, uh, which looks creamy but will disappear very, very soon. I think in a glass that just looks absolutely wonderful. Like I said, I can smell it, but let's get the nose in. It's a weird smell. Not in a horrible way. Because you've got the, a little bit of roastness, and then you've got coffee, ginger, a touch of vanilla. It's that roastness with that ginger, just, just on the original, on the first whiff, doesn't smell like it belongs, but it does smell nice. There you go, it's a strong ale, strong beer, so that the head's gone now. Right, let's taste it. Cheers, everybody. Sometimes, just sometimes, when I have a strong beer, I like um, I like that strength to be hidden. I don't want to taste it. I think it's mainly in those summer ones, so strong ciders, strong lagers, um, bitters, those sorts of things. Because they're um, lighter and drunk in summer months, I think then I don't particularly want to taste the ABV. When it's in a stout, I want it. I want it to be a stonking, strong flavour. I want to know I'm drinking something that's, a little bit of strength behind it, and that's what this does. It is really sweet, but it's a pastry stout, stout. So we kind of accept that, don't we? Um, you can taste the ABV. It tastes stronger than eleven percent. It is nice and warming. Other than that. It kind of follows the nose, so you've just got really a little bit of roastiness coming through, a little bit of ginger coming through, a little bit of vanilla. A little bit of spice as well, like um, a cinnamon. A little warming spiciness in there as well. But it is really good. It is a very nice Imperial Stout. Look at the coating it's leaving on that glass. I you can see that. It's leaving the right coating on there. It is thick, rich, decadent. Very tasty. And I have to say, 
even though it tastes strong, <laughs> it's really Moorish. It is really, really Moorish. Yeah. There you go. A smooth, full-bodied stout, fit for the season, featuring chocolate malt. Yeah, there's a little sweetness in there. Could be chocolate. Oats and cream and vanilla for a luscious, velvety mouthfeel. So it's very, very smooth. Additions of brown sugar creates a delicate sweetness. Mm, it's a bit in your face, the sweetness. While subtle coffee notes meld with cosy, warming spices of cinnamon and ginger. It is, and that, that sweetness could be, I'm, I'm just feeling it as a sweetness, but it could be a little bit of chocolate in there. And like I say, it's not what you call delicate sweetness. It's a sweet one. It's really, there you go. It's really in your face. That is a lovely, lovely stout, which gets one of those. It's a 10 out of 10 beer. 10 out of 10 from Andy's Baby. It was a cracking beer. Um, I think the 16% one, I think I only scored that nine, maybe nine and a half. I can't quite remember. But this is a 10 out of 10 beer. It's lovely. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got this from. This is a strange one, these ones, because sometimes, um, well, not sometimes, but these are ones probably a year ago, you'd have found this just in the bottle shop. But I've picked this up from possibly, possibly a Sainsbury's or maybe even a Tesco's. Can't remember, but it's in a supermarket. I'll, if I remember, if I find it, I'll, I'll drop a note on the screen and let you know where. Uh, where it came from, and if I can find it out, what price it is. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, stout, imperial stout. If you like imperial stouts, if you like pastry stouts, it is sweet. Um, de definitely worth trying. Um, that's it. Until next time, everybody, enjoy your beers. Cheers.